Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. So we're on our way to Derek dropping me off at the sleep study and he's being a lame little loser. Derek. Shut up. <laughs> Are you sad? No. Yes. You're not sad? Shut up. <laughs> You're not sad at all? I'm not sad. Let's give me at it. How do we come alone? Uh, you have five babies to care for. So will you really be alone? No. Maybe. Don't let him fool you. He was totally sobbing and like begging me not oh, to walk yeah, out the door. Wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I dingle hopper? No, I wasn't. Dingle? What's a dingle hopper, Derek? A fork. Actually, it's a brush. We're on our way there. Um. So, yeah, I guess the next time you guys will see me, I'll be alone in my private room. I'm looking at you. Hi. It's okay. You don't have to cry on camera. Wipe the tears away. It's okay. I'll be back. Okay. Maybe, if I don't decide to die. Go ahead. <laughs> the room <laughs> so yeah so this is what I'm currently doing my hair stuck I think they're watching me I don't know if they can hear me <laughs> watching so far. Derek came and got me. Um, they woke me up at like 6 a.m. Got ready. Got all my things together. Um, did my little survey. Um, and then, yeah, I got to leave. 
They said that it would take like two weeks to get results and that I should follow up with the sleep doctor and stuff like that. So I guess that's the next step is just following up with him about whether or not I have sleep apnea. And then if I do, <clears throat> then I have to do another sleep study. Um, being hooked up again, like you saw, I look like a freaking robot or something. And um, getting fitted for a sleep apnea mask. So hopefully I don't have one. Because I was really uncomfortable to sleep with. It wasn't fun. It was like a weird experience. Like being there by myself without Derek. So that was weird. And I'm used to the animals being on the bed. So the animals weren't there. So that was weird. It was just weird. And I was like nervous the whole time. So it was hard for me to sleep. Um, I didn't sleep very good. Uh, I tried all the TVs shut off at 1130, they said. So I try to like lay down and try to force myself to go to sleep before then. And I turned on the little um, sound machine thing that they had on thunderstorms. I laid there for like what felt like an hour. Couldn't fall asleep. So then I asked to use the bathroom. And... Um, she was like, what's wrong? Are you not comfortable? And I'm like, no, I just, I'm nervous. Like, I'm trying really hard not to fall asleep on my stomach, um, you know. And so I'm trying not to do that because of all the cords and stuff. She's like, well, if that's what's going to make you fall asleep, then by all means, go to your stomach. Just be mindful of the cords. And I was like, oh, okay. That didn't even help. I kept popping off the leg sensor, so I had to keep popping those back on. And I'm like, and I was like, oh my god, they can hear me. Because they have the microphone on to hear, like, if I needed to go to the bathroom or whatever. So they're watching me, they're hearing me. And I'm trying my best to be mindful of the cords at all times. I'm trying to get comfortable. The pillows felt like clouds and not in a good way. So I don't like super, super hard, firm pillows. But they had to be have some kind of firmness. So I'm not used to these, like, little... What, filled like a, what felt like a sack filled with cotton balls. That's how soft they were. And I didn't like them. So that was hard. So I feel like I maybe only got an hour to three maybe of sleep. So, and then when she came to wake me up, she was like, so is that like a normal night for you? Or, and I'm like, well, I wouldn't say like that normal. I'm like, I'm up and down quite a bit using the bathroom. Um... My arm is starting to hurt from holding the phone up and talking. I was like, um, you know, I'm up and down quite a bit, and sometimes it's hard for me to fall asleep, or it's hard for me to stay asleep. Like, after the last time I asked to use the bathroom, it took me forever, it felt like, to fall asleep. I don't even know if I fell asleep. But she came in. I might have dozed off, and then she came in and said, okay, it's time to get up. So, that was an experience. So, hopefully, I don't have to do that again. Um, but if I do, you guys will know. Um, but next time I'll be fitted with a sleep apnea mask as well as being hooked up to all the wires again to, to get my settings and stuff that I need for the mask. So, but yeah, so that was the sleep apnea sleep study test. Um, nothing really eventful happened after that, um... I had my um, cardiology appointment, which I'll talk about in my next vlog um, as well. Wasn't very eventful either. So, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. I did what I could. I filmed what I could. I felt really weird filming when they could, like, hear me and stuff. So, that was awkward. But hopefully you guys enjoyed Thank you guys for watching. It's kind of cool, you know, going through this, but like sharing that I'm going through this and you guys kind of going through it with me by watching. And then I have all of this to look back on, you know, kind of like a diary type thing. So it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm liking vlogging. Um, but as I say in all my videos, um, if you guys want to see me film anything in particular, on times that I don't have appointments, um, meal planning, meal prepping, um, going grocery shopping, what I buy, um, 
what I use for protein or anything like that, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know and I will try to incorporate that so that I always have a video up. Um, but I guess that's it for today's sleep study vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and I appreciate you guys being with me on my journey.